Hi guys, so here on Rory here, co-founder of Sublime Trading. Here with the daily update for the UK and US indices for Thursday the 21st of May. Alright guys, hope you're well. Hope you've had a great week so far. So starting with the FTSE 100, not much change really. We did see a break and close above the 6,000 round number, but we've had that before, uh, a couple of days before. So it's not the first time we've seen price breaking close above the 6,000 round number. But more importantly, price is still inside an area of consolidation. So we want to see a breakout and ideally a breakout to the upside. Moving across to the US indices, we saw far more interesting price action yesterday, particularly on the S&P 500, where we saw a new high for the month of May. But price is still finding resistance just below the 200 simple moving average. So crucially, just waiting for price to break through this key area of resistance and then we can really start considering whether we are in bullish territory or not. So a little bit of patience still needed for now. But if we do get price break through the 200 moving average on the S&P 500, then it'll be very interesting. Very, very interesting. On the Nasdaq, we saw price print another new high for the month of May. So the Nasdaq really storming ahead compared to the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones are lagging behind, still waiting for the Dow Jones to create a new high for the month of May and particularly the break and close above the high of April. So Dow Jones lagging behind, S&P 500 looking interesting, just waiting for the 200 moving average to be broken and for it to be confirmed in support. And the Nasdaq, well, it's storming ahead. It won't be too long potentially before we start seeing the Nasdaq break and close above the current all-time high and potentially go on to create new all-time highs. So interesting times at the moment, a little bit of patience needed. Let's wait to see how price plays out today and potentially how it ends the week. So let's get into the charts and catch up with price action. So guys, if you're new to these daily updates, then I recommend starting with the recording that's pinned to the top of our Facebook page so that you get a good idea of what I go through in these charts. Okay, so as always, this is our three screen setup. We have the monthly in the top left, weekly in the top right, and our daily chart down here across the bottom. Starting with the monthly time frame on the FTSE 100, we can see April was bullish. That momentum has continued through in May, but we're still waiting for price to break and close above the high of April to suggest strength to the upside. On the weekly, price is below the 200 and the 50 simple moving average. We can see this pullback that price is in. Bullish week so far, but it's this high point that we want to see cleared. And if we come down to the daily time frame, price is below the 200 moving average. Above the 20, you can see how the 20 has been acting as support. If it breaks through the 20, then we can see how the 50 has been acting as support. At the moment, though, price is very much inside this area of consolidation. What we want to see is a breakout above this high point to suggest strength to the upside. That will then confirm a double bottom formation. Double bottom formation in a bull trend generally means a continuation of the bull trend. So if we get a break in a close above the high of April, confirm that double bottom, then we're likely to see strength back to the 200 moving average. Moving across to the US indices, starting with the Dow Jones on the monthly, we can see that price is looking bullish, but it's inside the annual levels of last year. So that's the high and the low of 2019. On the weekly time frame, price above the 200 moving average, a bullish week so far inside this area of consolidation, though, I want to see this high point cleared and strength to the 50 simple moving average. On the daily time frame, price is below the 200 moving average, but again, finding support at the 20 simple moving average or the 50 simple moving average, but currently inside this area of consolidation. So what we want to see is a breakout above the high of April and strength to the 200 moving average. Moving across to the S&P 500, starting with the monthly. Again, we can see that month of May is looking bullish. What we want to see is strength to the uh, current all time high. On the weekly time frame, price is above the 200 moving average, but below the 50 simple moving average. You can see a bullish week so far, but faced with immediate resistance with the 50 simple moving average and that 3000 round number as well. And on the daily time frame, we can see a little bit of bullishness, which created a new all time high for May. But ultimately, price is still directly below the 200 moving average and the 3000 round number, finding support at the 20 simple moving average. What we want to see now is this whole area of resistance confirmed as support and then strength to the all time high. Once this area is confirmed as support, then we can start considering placing long trades on the best performing stocks. Moving to the Nasdaq on the Nasdaq, starting with the monthly, we can see that price is trading above the high of last year, which is 
positive gives price a bullish bias plus we've had a strong may so far you can see price is now not too far off the current all-time high on the weekly time frame price above the 200 and the 50 simple moving average you can see this bullishness come uh, bullishness that price has been in this bullish trend since march and so far this week bullishness as well which has created uh, further new highs for may but you can see just not too far off the all-time high come down to the daily time frame price above all three moving averages you can see how the 20 simple moving average has been acting as support price above the 200 moving average and also with price continuing to climb the 50 simple moving average is now looking to cross back above the 200 moving average once we have that then we'll have alignment with the 20 above the 50 the 50 above the 200 so a potential golden cross taking place here overall though we really want to see this all-time high cleared for the market to suggest further strength to the upside and finally looking at the s p 500 mini which gives us an indication of pre-market action the month of may is looking bullish inside the annual levels of last year on the weekly this bullishness has taken price just below the 50 simple moving average and the 3000 round number so we want to see this area cleared as resistance confirmed as support and then strength to the all-time high on the daily time frame we can see price is just below the 200 moving average and the 3000 round number so far today a little bit of bearishness in terms of pre-market action but remember it's always the end of day candlestick that gives us the most amount of information the institutional money generally comes in towards the end of the day so this candlestick could look very different the institutional money could push price all the way through the 200 moving average and price could close above it so a waiting game now to see how the rest of the today plays out but ultimately what we're waiting for is this 200 moving average and that 3000 round number to be confirmed as support and that's when we can start considering long trades Okay, guys, that's me for today. Please like, comment, and share. Let's get these recordings out there. Let's get people understanding how to use the indices correctly to build a solid investment portfolio. And I will see you on tomorrow's recording.